We'll start by saving the active document. Once the document is saved, go to the Utilities tab to run the Renishaw add-in. Once the add-in is loaded, we'll select the component set we'll be working in. Then we'll use the search functionality to find a plate. Once we found the plate, we'll insert it by clicking the Insert Component button. Once we have a plate in our document, we can build up our fixture by inserting components, which we can find by scrolling through the list or using the search functionality. Once we found the component we're looking for, we can click the Insert Component button to add it to the document. We'll be prompted to select a connection point. When we select a point, a preview of the connection will be shown. To apply it, click OK. We'll continue inserting components to build up our fixture. Notice that when you're making a connection, the alphanumeric position you're currently hovering over is displayed in the connection point window. This part of the video has been sped up to avoid repetition as we build up our fixture. Now that we've connected components to our plate, we'll see how we can stack components onto the components that are connected to the plate. We insert the component like we typically would, by selecting it and clicking the Insert Component button. When we're prompted to connect the component, we can select a point on one of the existing components to connect it to that component. The connection will be previewed. To accept the preview, click OK. This part of the video has been sped up to avoid repetition as we build up our fixture. Once we've built up our fixture, we can add our part by dragging it into the active document. Now, we can align our part with the fixture by using joints. We'll start by creating a planar joint between the top surface of our fixture and the bottom surface of our part. This joint constrains the bottom surface of our part to the top surface of our fixture. To constrain the rest of our part, we'll use the Tangent Relationship command. First, we'll select a pin on one of our components and a flat face on our part. We'll create another Tangent Relationship, select this pin, and the same flat face on our part. Now our part is constrained in the Y axis. To constrain our part in X, we'll create a Tangent Relationship between the final pin and the back face of our part. For the last two stacks of components, we'll position them manually 
and then use the tangent relationship to lock them into place. Once we've completed our fixture and constrained our part, we can switch to the manufacturing environment and use the Renishaw add-in to add probe styli to our Fusion Tool Library. To add a stylus to your Fusion Tool Library, click Probe Styli. Find the stylus you're looking for, then click the Insert Stylus button. You'll get a message that the stylus was added to a tool library called Renishaw. Now, when we open our tool library, we'll see a local tool library called Renishaw which contains the probe stylus that we just imported. Now we can create a setup and program inspection tool paths using the probe stylus we just imported. Once we're happy with our fixture design, we can generate an assembly report, which provides instructions for building the fixture. An assembly report will be automatically generated when you click the assembly report tab. The assembly report includes instructions showing the alphanumeric position of each component connected to the plate, along with the components stacked on top of that. It also shows images and a bill of materials. You can show details by adding custom images to the report. The custom image will be added under the default images and can be deleted by clicking the image. Once you're satisfied with the assembly report, you can export it by clicking Export Assembly Instructions. This will generate an HTML file that can be shared with others. The HTML file can be opened in any browser or HTML viewer. The last step of the workflow is to order the components required to build the fixture, which you can do on the shopping cart tab. We can add fixture components and probe styli from our document by using the Add from Active Dock buttons. Or we can use the Add from Catalog button to add components from the catalog by clicking the Add to Cart button for the component we'd like to add to the cart. This applies to probe styli and fixture components. On the shopping cart tab, we can increase or decrease the number of components we'd like to order. We can also remove components from the cart by clicking the trash can icon for that component. Once we're happy with our cart, we can click Submit Bill of Materials to submit the Bill of Materials to Renishaw. Before your Bill of Materials can be submitted to Renishaw, you must fill out the form that pops up in your browser. Once you've completed the form, click Submit Bill of Materials. When you click Submit Bill of Materials, you'll receive a message that Renishaw will contact you to complete the order. 